Hello Internet, how's it going? I'm Chase Jarvis. Welcome to another episode of The Daily Creative. This is where I answer your questions about the challenges you're having around trying to be an aspiring or a professional creative. Let's just get right into the show. Finn, where are you at? Back there. I'm right here. Finn. Hey Chase, this is Dorothy. I'm on Twitter at uh, Life on name? Awesome. Dorothy. Um, thanks for everything, by the way. You are part of my daily habit. I listen to a bunch of like people you interview first thing in the morning. Um, my question to you is, where I'm at right now is this awkward creative phase where I kind of gave up photography. I realized I was good at it, but I don't want to really pursue it because it's not what I love anymore. But I'm literally good at anything I do. So how do you go with just being authentic and true with yourself, use some intuition and figure out what's your next step, but also make it lucrative because I've noticed that a lot of things that I really want to do aren't necessarily lucrative. You're still like a starving artist or it takes a really long time, years, until you make any money off of it and that's kind of crippling. Okay, so that's my question. My name is Dorothy Day. Life and awesome. All right, thank you, Dorothy. Um, I didn't use the microphone last time, but I'm going to use it again. This I'm going to use it more this time. Maybe, I don't know, it's kind of... How's that? Microphone? All right. Dorothy, to your question. I think it's a good question. I, it was a little bit weird you said you're good at anything, but yet sometimes it takes years to make money at something. So if you're great at something, you should be able to make money at it tomorrow. So I think you might want to reconsider whether you're great. I think you could be great at something, but what I'm hearing is you might want to short circuit the path to making some money. I'll tell you something that it's going to be... Uh, I'm just going to be direct, and then if you just do something for money, it's going to start to suck really soon. So I would recommend you find something that you care about and apply yourself at that because you don't want to just make money. I think this is a um, – actually, I'm speaking from my point of view, and I, I can't tell you what to do, but I can tell you what I think, and the think is that – you should like maybe think about applying yourself in a direction or a thing that you could be world class at. That's the way the money and the opportunity and that just where there's no bounds. And that is part of the thing that one of the reasons you probably follow me or some other online people is because we've cracked a nut that is very difficult to crack and that's interesting. And that could be you. You could be that thing. So first and foremost, um, apply yourself to something you love, not just a market opportunity. You've heard me say, scratch your own itch. What do you care about? These are problems as entrepreneurs. You want to solve a problem that you care about because when shit gets hard, and it will, you need to have a passion behind your work so that you can break through that wall. Uh, but actually, I'm going to, oh, I just had a great thought. Um, will you follow? I'm going to write on the board here. So my good friend Chris Gillibo wrote a book called Born for This. Can you see over this thing? Called Born for This or Born This Way? No, that was Lady Gaga. <laughs> born, <laughs> born, born for This. Um, and, and this is a good way to think about what you might want to, to shoot at. And these are Venn diagram. This is some, there you go. This is some shit I learned in college. Uh, this is the only thing I learned in college, by the way. Things that bring you joy, things that you love. This is the passion, passion piece. Is this in your way? Yeah. This is your pa the passion piece. Things that, you're, that, that bring you joy. Things that bring you money. I understand that that's a thing. You want to make a living as a creative. And that's one of the reasons this show exists. And then there's this other thing, which is called, uh, in Chris's book, it's called Flow. But this is also app. Attitude. Shit you're good at. So it's right in here, like this is where you want to like focus your energy, things that are bringing you joy that like I'm great at building Legos but it's very hard to make money at it. Um, I, I have high, high aptitude because I solve puzzles. And I'm not saying you can't make money building Legos, you can get a sponsorship from Lego, but it's usually something that is, this has a sort of a, this has a a history around it of being of showing that you can make money like as a professional photographer or an artist joy bliss flow and aptitude so chris's book is called born for this born for yeah i just it's called born for this and it's a fantastic book i think you should read it that's my recommendation for you that's the answer to question number one dorothy did you hear anything else no, that was it all right dorothy check nice job good question Next on the, the next on the list. Actually, should we pause? Yeah. Nice job, Dorothy. A nice job, Chase. Actually, where's my? Oh, I <laughs> check this thing out. This is a hand. I just like. Good job, self. Pat yourself on the back. All right. Here's Ian. Ian. Chase, this is an awesome experiment, and I appreciate you reaching out to all of your viewers and fans to do something like this. So my name is Ian. I'm from Baltimore, and I've got a 
I guess two-part question. My wife and I are trying to start a photography business together. We have launched a, I guess, wedding photography business. We've booked 15 clients for our first year so far. We're very excited, but we're nervous because we are full-time nurses and are wondering how we can make the change from being nurses to going and starting our own business losing benefits, losing our health insurance, Got it. and having to pay for that out of pocket instead. Got it. Ian, good question. The short version is how do you transition out of one career into another one without giving up all the things you've been accustomed to? First of all, you're going to have to take some risks. Second of all, the best, inform- the best advice I've ever got from a mentor and someone you know, Richard Branson, told me this, try to mitigate the downside. What could you do such that when you invest as much as you can, you're never, if it goes, if it turns into a shit sandwich, you've still got something to fall back on. So this is one of the things that, that's a, a, a massive um, misunderstanding, how you can both be all in and have a safety net. So being all in is, is throwing all of your passion, your energy, all that stuff. I believe that you can carve enough time out, whether it's four hours or six hours, and whether it's being a nurse, or what I also recommend uh, is um, waiting tables, um, valeting cars, things that are very, very flexible such that you can put, you can rely on that to make money and keep your benefits or whatever and focus as much of the time as you can on, in this case, your photography business. Um, the, the belief that you just have to bet everything, bet the farm, that's totally, that's not, that's, I don't advise that, no entrepreneur, you'll hear that and those just people, are full, they're full of shit. Now, if you have to be very disciplined because if you're trying to spend time in your nursing career and you're like, oh, I want to take a vacation next June, so I'm going to work 40 or 50 hours as a nurse and then save up some money. No, vacations, kill them. They're off the table until you start making money as a photographer. All the energy, I would find out, it, presumably maybe it's hourly as a nurse. I don't know how that works, but what can you do to work as little as possible in this other capacity and still make your, say you have $3,000 a month in overhead, how can you make $3,500 doing that thing so that you have $500 a slush, but basically you're break even so that you can put all the extra time into the thing that you want to build. And in this case, it's as a photographer. I think this is a massively, this is what business school, like this is what they should be teaching is how to transition, how to start something. No one talks about this. And I think it's, uh, it's a shame. This is the best advice I believe you will ever hear on the topic. I have advised thousands of people. I have personally done this myself. You have to have discipline to not get sucked into the thing that's supporting you, but you have to put all of the everything else you have, no vacations, none of that stuff. It's if you actually want it, if you want to be like either the people um, you see on TV or the people who are, you know who are making a living and a life doing what they love, TV, why did I say TV? That's kind of weird, not TV. Um, on YouTube. On YouTube, yeah. The, uh, yeah, it's just, it's just a really, and, and I'll, also I'm going to put, I'm going to qualify that asterisk. You, you want to uh, experience and see like the people that you see on TV see, like through their eyes. You don't want to be like them. You want to be like you. So don't get confused there. But the point stands that you have to feather the two things. No one talks about that because it sounds sexy to say, you're all in, bro. But you're really not. You're 95% in because to be 100% in and just jump is it can be scary if you actually have kids and mortgages and all that stuff. Trim down. What can you do to make those costs super low? The reality is you you have to jump though. There is a commitment, so you understand the balance. It's a fine line. I I don't want to tell you where your line is. That's for you to figure out. All right, Ian. Is that Ian? That was Ian. Ian, thank you for the question. I think it's a popular one. Hope you appreciate the answer. Hit me up in the comments or whatever. Make sure you subscribe to the show. If you want your questions answered on the Daily Creative, just call. I got the number right here. 802-962-HELP. That's 802-962-4357. Leave me a message. And for God's sakes, leave your coordinates. Like, tell us who you are and spell your name out and and give us your social handle because we can put that stuff on the bottom of the screen here. And dear God, Subscribe, right? Cheers, signing off.